On the second day of Easter, my Jesus gave to me what is inside the pink egg. You have to wait to find out. Hi, everybody. Welcome to day two of the 12 days of Easter, where we open one of these eggs to see the treasures inside. So today's color is the light pink egg. Wonder what could be inside. But first, we need to hear our clue verses. Can you guess what object might be inside the pink egg? Our clue verses are found in Matthew chapter 26, verses 14 through 16. Then one of the twelve, called Judas Iscariot, went unto the chief priests and said unto them, What will ye give me, and I will deliver him unto you? And they covenanted with him for thirty pieces of silver. And from that time he sought opportunity to betray him. Hmm. hmm. Now, now do you know, do you know what's, what's inside, inside the pink egg? I wonder what could be inside it. Sounds jingly. Very jingly. And would you look at that? Some ancient money. <laughs> Some coins. Uh -huh. So let's hear what coins have to do with the Easter story. Three of them. Then one of the twelve, called Judas Iscariot, went unto the chief priests, and he said unto them, What will ye give me? and I will deliver him unto you. And they covenanted with him for 30 pieces of silver. That's it. And that's what those three coins represent. They represent the 30 pieces of silver. And from that time, he sought an opportunity to betray him, meaning betray Jesus. Now, isn't that sad? Yeah. That Judas, who spent so much time with Jesus, actually wanted to betray him. I just, I can't even imagine such sadness. Mm -hmm. So although Jesus did a lot of wonderful things, there were still people who sought to kill him. And this was a part of God's plan. And it just kind of reminds us that there's going to be things that happen in our life that we just don't understand. Like this, Judas betraying Jesus just seems so sad. But yet it was part of God's plan. And there's going to be things in our life and in your life that are sad, but they are part of God's plan. So let's pray and ask God to help us trust Him that He always knows best. Dear Jesus, we just thank you for the Bible and we thank you for Easter and we thank you for dying on the cross and for rising again so that we have a way to heaven. And we just pray that we will always trust you and know that you always know what's best, even when bad things come into our life, even when friends betray us, even when people are cruel and mean, you always have a reason. And we love you, Jesus. Amen. Now presenting the Fluffy and Muffy Show! Hi! I'm Muffy the Church Mouse. And I'm Fluffy the Kitty Cat. Last week, I was getting kind of jealous because I wanted to sing a solo by myself. But Muffy kept trying to sing with me. But now, but now I realize that we should praise God together. Aw, that's wonderful, Fluffy. I love praising God with you. Should we sing a song together now? Yes. Let's do it, ready? Mm-hmm. I don't wanna have jealousy. I don't wanna have jealousy. Cause it's not swell, you see. I don't wanna have jealousy. I just wanna be a sheep, meh, meh. I just wanna be a sheep, meh, meh. Cause they're so sweet, meh, meh. I just wanna be a sheep, meh, meh. But we're not sheep, we're a cat and a mouse. Well, it's because
because Jesus is our good shepherd and we are his sheep and we need to be humble and sweet and follow Jesus. Oh, I get it now. Let's sing it one more time. Ready? I don't want to have jealousy. I don't want to have jealousy. Cause it's not swell, you see. I don't want to have jealousy. I just want to be a sheep. I just want to be a sheep. Cause they're so sweet. I just want to be a sheep. Well, thanks for joining us for day two. Stay tuned for day three of the 12 days of Easter.